Hi, Koopo, and welcome to Clarence Goes to the Store. As I rise from bed, wiping the sleep from my eyes, I am consumed by a single urgent life or death notion. Milk. Holy F, I want some milk. Is this milk inside of a bag of milk? The succulent source of bovine nutrition. The sloshy white goodness, the coats, the throat, oh, and fulfills the soul. There is no time. It must be now. I rush to the kitchen, throwing open the fridge with a merciless thwack. Milk. Milk. Milk? No. No, no. No, 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 no. It should be right here. Everything else is in place. Pickles, ham, mayonnaise, anime figurine in a jar that I don't have. But no milk. It can't be. But it must. I'm out of milk. I collapse to the floor, my brain in a haze. Are these tears? Or am I just leaking? It's okay, it's fine. I just drive to Willy Mart. I could be there in... Crud. My car is still thrashed from that night, from that incident. Of course, that incident that we all know about. That poor bus full of orphans. Did I crash into a bus full of orphans that are still alive? That new store opened today, just a few blocks from here. Connie's Ultimate Mart. They're supposed to have everything, and everything means milk. There's hope. I can make it. Just a short walk from my house and I'll be there. And my house must be in the middle of the sidewalk. I scramble to this front door and open it into a fresh spring morning. The sun is bright. A warm wind blows. And now everything will be okay. I'm sure nothing at all will slow me down. It's time to go get the fudging mint store. <sighs> A shadowy figure approaches from the side of the road. Take this. Tell no one. Say nothing. He thrusts a small object into my hands. It looks like a small plastic cat, so it's so ugly that it's almost cute. You never saw me. Wait. I'll definitely take the cat. Uh, thanks? Don't thank me. I've killed you. You've killed me by giving me a cat? Is this cat, like from hell okay then moving on this kind of sounds like a variation of feel good ink oh my god most people just call me clarence but i guess that's fine too that's uh, the sacred idol of nako she gestures in awe towards the plastic cat the what? The sacred idol of Nako. His me meow just feline furry contained within an ancient relic. The catalyst of his rebirth into this world. Whereupon he will take his rightful place as ruler. Uh, yeah, no. I think this is just some cheap plastic crap that Maurice jumped in on me. You just must be confused. Please. <laughs> Please grant me the opportunity to be its bearer. That chance is worth any cost. I'll give you my first board. <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. Wow, okay, really didn't think things were gonna get weirder than that. Please trade with me. Um, no. I want my cat, and if it is what it says you, you it is what it, you saying it is, then it's definitely worth a lot. Yeah, no, you are a crazy person, and I will not be facilitating that. I suppose I understand. I seriously doubt that. After all, you have such a great honor. Why would you pass it to another? I see. Anyways, have you heard about our Lord and Savior, Nico? Okay, lots of passion. Got it. I happen to be on my way to the bi non-voluntary reinformation and mandatory donation party. Wow, that sounds swell. Why don't you come with me? Again, with the passion, nice. Look, I'm kind of in a hurry here, so thanks, but you know, no thanks. Of course, that's completely understandable. Okay, I need milk. Three, two, one. 
Well, why don't I just tell you all about our organization right here? Yep, there it is. Can't you spare a moment to hear about the great Nico in all his glory? Puncher? I'm, I'm gonna punch you because I need milk. I am not. They're gonna run out. This planet that I'm on has little to no cows, and I really don't want to go to my neighbor and milk his wife. I'm pretty sure there's only one reasonable response for this. I don't know my own strength. I'm sorry. Hannah collapses to, gr to the ground in a heap. Dang, that was much more fulfilling than I wanted it to be. I should probably get out of here. Why am I going, walking back and forth in the same places? Can you spare a moment to help me? I promise it will take a second. Well, you are in my way, and to my knowledge, there's no way to skip this event, so why not? Oh, thank you, dear. That means so much. I'm working on the budget for my kindergarten classroom, but it keeps bringing, being rejected by the school board. Those bastards. It's just like them to F with teachers working hard to provide the best education they can, they can to our youth. I know. Anyways, they, they said I needed to make some cuts, and I've narrowed it down to two things. Could you tell me which one, which you, which you think I should cut? Uh, pencils, paper, notebooks, or black tar heroin? The pencils and papers. I think you make you can make some cuts here. After all, everything is digital now. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. I could cut when I cut snacks. Digital fulfillment is much more nourishing for the young soul. Most definitely, and if you spend that money on your heroin, you can keep yourself in top pre-teaching form. Cause I can tell you're all about form. Ugh, don't think so little of me, dear. That isn't all for me. It isn't? Of course, I'll be sharing it with the children. Makes recess much more fun. Um, I am, am I a terrible person? I mean, children, Maybe they should benefit. Maybe they could benefit. I truly didn't know such boundless generosity existed. What a kind soul you are. These children are in excellent hands. Or little spaghetti noodles. Oh dearie, you'll make an old woman blush. I'm off to submit my revisited budget. Thanks so much for your help. Now, where did I put my spare needle? Somewhere in another country. I did a good thing. I'm a good person. I, I gave children heroin. Black tar heroin at that. I did a good thing. Yeah. I'm back at home. Nope. I'm walking in a circle. Oh, Mr. Crap, Dr. Murderkill. Your assistance is required. Dang, that's crazy. I'll be going now. Your assistance is mandatory. Changing a word does not make your statement any more authoritative. This man is dying. He needs open heart surgery. You will assist me, yes? With the name Murder Kill, how can I resist? How did, how, why are you doing open heart surgery in the middle of the street? I am not. I am asking for your assistance. After which, we will perform open heart surgery in the middle of the street. <laughs> that is technically correct, and I am upset that I can't argue with that. Fine. If you let me pass after this, then effing sure. Excellent. Good. Just make an incision in the heart. And you can't do this? Why? My claws are too large. Also, I did not go to medical school. Oh, both solid reasons, which means I obviously went to medical school. They did not let blobsters into medical school. We are frequently served with butter. Make an incision in this heart. Fine, give me the scalpel. Now, let's see. Which one is the heart again? The red throbby organ? One of the two large pink organs. Heart. It's probably one of the pink organs. I slice into one of the two large pink organs. It hisses as I cut, and the patient coughs briefly before slumping further into the table. That is not the heart. That was its lungs. He's dead. You have just committed medical malpractice. 
Well, I could just blame it on this lobster. They'll believe me, right? Dang, Chief, that's on me, but is it really medical malpractice if I'm not a doctor? Perhaps not. In that case, you have committed murder. You killed that man. Well, you are murder kill. I can just blame it on you, and I'm off the hook. This isn't much better. I asked you specifically for one thing. You did not do that one thing. You did a bad thing instead. Why? Much like you, I also did not intend medical school. I was hoping you had completed first grade biology. Have I seen my own heart, Dr. Murderkill? How am I supposed to know what a heart looks like? And that, my bottom feeding friend, is where you effed up. I will not wash my hands of this nonsense and move on. Washing one's hands is an excellent medical practice. Adding additional openings to lungs is not. Your inconsistency baffles me. And in my inconsistency, I am entirely consistent so long, doctor. Please run into a cow next or the store. Oh, sup dudes. Hey, I hate to bother you, but would you mind helping me rob this guy? Just like that? I bump into you on the street and I'm helping you rob a man? No, you don't understand. He really needs the help. This is the worst robbery I've ever been the victim of. Dang, that bad? Worse, I promise. Okay, that's pretty hurtful. I'm just trying to be a really good criminal and it would help me a lot if you give me a hand. Can you at least show me what I'm working with? Give me a sample. Yeah, sure. Okay, all right. You can do this, Keith. Oh, God, here we go. Hey, you! Ah, uh, oh, no. I am being robbed. Please help me. Please give me all of your money. If you don't, I will very sad and probably cry on you. I could be diseased. My tears could give you mad cow disease, cow. Maybe it's get we're getting somewhere. Cow equals milk. If you can't give it to me upright, that is fine. I'd be happy to do yard work or something to earn this robbery. Oh, stop. Please stop. Ooh, did I scare you that time? No, not in the slightest. The greatest thieves in history all rolled in their graves. Nuts. See, I could use some help. What do you say, pal? Uh, yeah, I'll help Rob. You're right. This is a travesty that needs to be resolved immediately. I'll do what I can. Yippee! Okay, rule one. Never effing say yippee ever again. Yes, sir. Sure thing, boss. And stop being so polite. You've got to be scary. Mm, intimidating. Here, let me give you an example. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. Oh, I mean, <laughs> grr, angry. Hey, punk. Right, right, yeah, nailed it. I'm going to rob Benny here, so just take notes or something. Finally. Maybe we can actually get somewhere. Scott, get somewhere this... Makes sense. <clears throat> Give me your effing money! Well, rip out the eye and in your socket! I suck Benny in the mouth. Or whatever mouth. Who is Benny? I'm guessing the one with the mouth. I'm not effing playing. They call you Crap Socket, the flying crap monster. I thought this was a demonstration. Out here, here's all my money I have. Take it. Benny has me 370. That's enough for milk. And scene. Okay, cool. We're done here. See? Easy peasy. You really had me going there. Now that you've done demonstrating, can I get the money back? Benny, shut up. Yeah. That was amazing, boss. You really scared me. I think I got the hang of it, though. Excellent. Then it's time for your test. Steal Benny's money from me. Okay, okay. I got this. I'm big and mean, and I step on ants. Yeah. Hey, you! Uh, give me that money, or I'll, uh, poop on you. That's what you took from the example? Oh, right. I, I, gotta, I gotta hit you now, too. So, uh, Keith taps me lightly on the head. Yeah, how'd you like that? Uh, oh no, Mr. Thief, please don't hurt me. Here you go. I hand him Benny's money. Oh, gee, did you really do it? It really robbed somebody? Yes, Keith, you robbed me. Well done. Yippee! Or, I mean, cool. I'm gonna go tell my ma. You gave up, huh? Yeah, yep. I'm not gonna... 
I'm not getting my money back. Nope. Got mixed up there. Sorry, sir. Could you spare a second to help me out, please? I might as well. I'm apparently talking to everything with the pulse between here and the store. Hey, wait a minute. I think I recognize you. You're Geraldine Gerbil, the mascot for Wank Diddly World. Where is this place? I need to go there right now. It's me, or at least it was. Roar! Oh, did you get stacked? They told me if I showed up to work drunk and cried on the customers one more time, then I'll be a goner. Okay, so just like, don't do that. But I gotta, if Geraldine can't have her jive and juice, she might as well be dead. Only a tacky mascot would ever call alcohol a effing jiving juice. All I have to do is go back to work, is get a note from a doctor saying that I received therapy for my issues. I'm not a doctor, but I know a lobster you may love. I don't have time. Work starts in 10 minutes. Can you please just pretend to be a doctor and sign this form? I mean, I did perform heart, open heart surgery, so I am technically a doctor. Okay, hand me that form. Thank you so much. I can finally go back to work. I scribble a loopy signature at the bottom of the form. Think that'll work? If it doesn't, I can always just jump in the crocodile tank. Ah, so that's plan B? I should have just enough time to make it to the liquor store before the park opens. Thanks again, friend. I somehow feel like I've done something terribly wrong, but why do I think that? I killed a man, but I didn't say, hmm, I killed a man. How bad, how terrible of a thing I've done. But no, signing a form like this, no. That is crossing the line. I don't think I've actually seen you around before. What's your name? Oh God, here we go. What's the issue? Got a stupid name? Mine's effing Clarence, so you really don't have to worry. Why am I talking to him? He didn't come up to me. I gotta go to get a store. I need to get milk. My, my name is... Dees. Uh, Dees what? Don't, don't do it. Please don't do it. I'm gonna do it. Dees nuts. Oh, for sake. No, got him. Yeah, it's a sign. I'm gonna go drink myself into a coma now. <laughs> oh, my sides. That will never get old. When done properly, it will never get old. This is the weirdest thing I have came across so far. Look, Chief, I could use a flav a favor right here. Nothing crazy. It'll be fun. I seriously doubt that, but let's hear it anyways. Rad. So I stole this giant yogurt from the giant yogurt factory. I'm just gonna let the giant yogurt factory thing slide. Too much weird stuff already happened today. This is good, but they're on to me. Cops will be here any minute, so I gotta eat now. I won't be able to finish it on my own. What do you say, help a girl out? Uh, no. I need to save my appetite or my thirst for milk. I'm actually gonna call the cops this time. You know, I think I've got a better idea. Oh, Polaris, this lady stole yogurt. Oh, you snitch. Such a villainy will not be tolerated. You cannot buy my silence with dairy treats. I hear the sirens. I won't forget this punk. I'm actually losing count of how many crimes I've witnessed today and taken part of. These kids are gonna eat me. Oh, come on. I am a delicious edible treat and those hungry children, this isn't complicated. If they catch me, if they catch up to me, I'm a goner. Please, you've gotta hide me somewhere. I'll owe you big. Um, yeah, hide him. He deserves to live like everything else in this game. Okay, there's really aren't many places to hide around here, but I think I've got an idea. Oh God, I'm saved. Yeah, I mean, probably. Say you're pretty light, aren't you? I'm sugary fluff in a paper cone. Cool, this should work then. I, I pick up cotton by the cone. Whoa, I'm elevated now. Not a fan. Put me down now, please. Don't worry, I'm hiding you. It'll be fine. Yeet. Yeet. Yeet! I chuck cotton halfway across the city. 
Good throw. Maybe I should have done sports. Not much far farther now. I can almost taste the sweet, sweet milk. <sighs> Is there something you want me to help you with? Because that's been happening to me way too much today. Nope, not a thing. Just, just thought I'd stop for you for a second to say hi. So, hey there, pal. Everyone just needs a howdy once in a while, don't you think? Um, beat him senseless? No, this guy's probably the nicest guy I've met so far. I'm gonna say hi. Well, I really appreciate that, man. You would not believe the day I've had. We all know what that's like. Take some time. Enjoy the scenery. I'm sure the rest of your day will be just so great. Thanks, guy. I appreciate you talking with me. I'm on my way to the store now, but maybe I'll catch you later. Well, that'll be swell. Enjoy the rest of your day. I guess not everything is terrible after all. I feel like that is the best thing I could have done today. And I feel like that's gonna affect me in a very positive way. Come. That's the store I come to to get milk. Maybe that's why it's called come. What else could it possibly mean? Finally, Connie's ultimate market. Oh, of course. I thought I'd never get here. I've had it up to here with lobster doctors and alcoholic gerbils and whatever the F else happened today. I just want to go in get my milk, glug the whole gallon in the parking lot, and have a normal trip home. You, you have done well, bearer. Well, there's spooky voice. I'm almost at where I want to be, so nothing personal, but I will be ignoring you. Your dedication in carrying my vessel will be rewarded. Behold my rebirth. The cat. The plastic cat Maurice gave me begins to quiver. Then it flies into the air before bursting into a glorious light. It's beautiful. Rejoice, mortal, for you gaze upon the form of the mighty god, Nico. <gasps> Maybe I should have gone with Hannah to that cult meeting after all. No, I want milk and that's what I came here for. Look, cat, it's great to meet you and I'm super humbled or whatever, but I'm going to go inside the store now and never think about this again. Nonsense. You must be rewarded for your role in my rebirth. Your reward shall be life i will allow you to survive the coming apocalypse along with my followers you will live to see the birth of a new world of feline glory if i could request a change maybe just don't start an apocalypse i mean yeah those people these people suck but wait did you say feline indeed the world will be crafted anew in my image is there any chance that there might be Cat girls? Cat... What? Cat girls, you know, girls with cat ears, maybe a tail, say, yeah, and stuff. They're adorable, because I am a huge furry. Because I will definitely ride out in Apocalypse if you can score me a few of those. I have changed my mind because of the cursed stuff you have just spoken. You will be the first to die. Make your peace, mortal. Wait, come on. Everyone likes cat girls, right? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, is that why that guy said I was dead? Gotcha. What is this? A few seconds of fleeting consciousness as I slip through the void? I lived a decent life, I suppose, but I can find solace in one thing. I died standing for what I believed in. As I finally fade away, I hear a voice from beyond. My deepest regret is that I can kill you, but once. Oh, what an ending. Nico returns. Love it. Well, that was Clarence goes to the effing store. That was interesting. It was silly. Um, that's all I knew about that it was. A re I mean, I just came across. I saw the name and I'm like, I'm playing this and I mean it didn't disappoint it was ridiculous and that's what that's kind of what I was going for yeah nothing much to say I do know there are multiple I think there's eight endings total I mean I could be wrong but I do know that there's multiple endings so if you want to play this game for yourself see what ending you come up with then I'll leave a link in the description below and with that thank you guys for watching be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next time Cola, signing off